Everybody, it's time for another segment of the BTS vlog and I was able to make it to get up in time so that we still have a daily vlog <laughs> vlogging daily this is uh, this is today it's uh, yeah just about uh, 11 o'clock 10 past 11 so it's uh, 23 out 23 hours seven minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday December 17th 2014 that is the day oh yeah it's been uh, a really rough day today not really rough in terms of uh, the amount of work I got done I got a lot of work done uh, another news uh, another edition of the news has gone up uh, I'm working on uh, the Thursday Friday edition of the news uh, the Insta vlogs are coming along all right. There's some. So, I'm still working on some of the, uh, the uh, some of the show notes for that. Uh, but the schedule, the the, the filming schedule is coming along pretty well. The number of people viewing the site, uh, the channel is growing. So I'm happy for that. So there, that we're going towards a good end of the year. Basically, December 31st is my year end. Because uh, uh, December 31st, uh, January 1st is my anniversary that's when I uh, began YouTube uh, I think it was 2012 so it's gonna be uh, uh, either my uh, third or fourth year on YouTube uh, I have to sort of check to see when I actually started when it was you know it was in 2012 then it would be it would be 2013 would be my first year 2014 would be my second year so I I think it was 2012. I can't remember that far back. I have without checking my dates. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I was on my YouTube stroll. I did my YouTube stroll yesterday, and the thing is, I don't always get I don't always get that far. I have my lists are kind of large, so I I have a lot of uh, places I go to. I usually just, I start off with uh, Bertelli Clintus, so I'm going to what I'm doing now. Is I'm gonna have something to eat. I'm gonna have a banana. I'm gonna have some cereal. Uh, then, as I'm watching uh, Bertelli Clintus, uh, I'm gonna check up see if Kitty Mama, Kitty's mama put up anything extra. Because sometimes they put stuff extra up during the, during the week as well too. They usually just do once a week, but sometimes they put up extra. Uh, then I also go by the shade tards, and I made it through uh, my my YouTube friends. I always I made it up to. Uh, Miss uh, C Star Twelve, and um, it is a pretty interesting vlog. Uh, one of the things, in the, the funny things in it, I, I don't, I think the guy is kind of joking, but I think the guy is also kind of serious. He's a, a, a Jewish person, and he disapproves of Vlogmas. But the problem is, is that I, I know a lot of Jews do disapprove of Christmas, and there, this is an issue for them. But I don't really understand why it's an issue. Because it's a bizarre type of issue. If you look, if you examine the issue carefully, then you realize that there's a phobia there. There's a fear. That there's a hatred of Christmas, and it's a bizarre hatred because Christ was a Jew. So what happens is that you have a group of people of nationality hating a Jew for not being Jewish enough. In other words, they don't. Christ didn't subscribe exactly to what they believe uh, they were, he uh, was he was different from what they believe he, he didn't believe in the self-righteous behavior of the Pharisees who became the uh, who produced the Talmud the Pharisees became the rabbinical Jews of today and the Pharisees were self-righteous at the particular point in time and uh, Christ came and said you know being self-righteous yes following the laws is, is, is what you should be doing but the thing being self righteous is wrong. That's a way to. This is a path to condemnation. Uh, and of course, the Pharisees who were in these high places didn't like that, 
And as the Pharisees ended up wipe, winning out and uh, destroying the Kohanes, destroying the Levites, the, the, if you would know someone with the name Kohain or the name uh, Levi, Levi uh, these were the two different class, uh, two other classifications of Jews. Uh, they were statuses that was a part of their status. And the thing is, is that these were eventually wiped out and deleted from Jewish history. And all that was left were the Pharisees, who were the rabbis, and that's the rabbinical class of Judaism. Uh, this is what survives today. So only a fragment of the original Judaism exists today, and that, and the, that fragment is the Pharisaical uh, Judaism or the rabbinical Judaism. And they hate Christ, who was a Jew. He wasn't a, he wasn't a Pharisaical Jew. He wasn't a rabbinical Jew, but he was a Jew. And you have all this animosity towards Christ. You know, people disapproving of him and saying, oh, I, I don't celebrate Christmas, I'm Jewish. Well, wait a minute here. I understand that Christ was a Jew. He wasn't European. I understand that Christ was a Jew and, and that the Christianity wasn't European. It was Jewish. Uh, it was Hebrew in the beginning. Uh, you need to understand that we go back and look at it. You go, well, why do you oppose Christ? Why do you oppose Christmas? Why you know? Why do you oppose anything with Christ in it? Uh, if he, Christ was a Jew, I thought if you're supposed to be celebrating Jewishness, you're supposed to be celebrating Judica, the, the Judica. Why go to all this extreme, all this angst over one Jew? I mean, I've never seen so much hatred towards one person in an, in a in a nationality before. You don't see it anywhere else. I mean, look at the, did you see a hated figure uh, the way you do in 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 Judaism? Do you in 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 the Jewish nationality? Do you see a hated figure like that in, in Hinduism? No. You do see 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 hated figure like that in India? No. So the question is, well, why does the why do the Jews have this one Jewish figure, Christ, who they hate so much? Anyways, that's sort of my thought for today. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get back on to my, my, my uh, breakfast, sort of, <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night. And I'll start my uh, YouTube stroll. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Well, hello, everybody. It is time for another segment of the BTS vlog. Got to get my chair situated here. Uh, as I said before, I'm going to try to start vlogging more often throughout the day rather than just doing once a day and describing what's happening, you know, giving a whole uh, review of the day. Anyways, it's about 5 o'clock in the morning, well, 5.30 in the morning. It's uh, 5 hours and 15 minutes, 5 hours and 17 minutes into the day of uh, uh, Thursday, December 18th, 2014. Yeah. Um... Uh, I've been working away on, on my the next uh, edition of uh, the news, and there's a lot of it, you know, this is the kind of the way things go, uh, for myself anyways, is that I'm still in the up and down mode, I'm still not uh, working full eight, full 12 hour days in a row. <sighs> I seem to be slowing down for a bit, and this, the thing is, is <laughs> I don't take breaks or holidays, so... This is kind of my, like my break or a holiday where I'm not working as hard in terms of the straight hours. But the, as I said, this is when my efficiency mode comes in, it clicks in. And in the efficiency mode, you try to do uh, uh, as much as you can while you're awake. And so far, my mission efficiency mode is starting to kick in, it's starting to uh, operate properly. And I'm getting the work that I need to get done so that a backlog doesn't start piling up. And that's what's happening here. Uh, I'm clearing some of the backlog that happened last week. There was a bit of an issue uh, with some of my systems and some of the mechanical systems here in the, in the office that caused a bit of a backup. And now I'm starting to clear that backup. Uh, <laughs> even though I'm in emergency mode, I'm starting to clear it. I'm getting enough work done that the work is being cleared. Uh, and I am actually pressing ahead. In other words, instead of stopping the vlogging schedule altogether, instead of you know, normally there'd be there'd be gaps within there'd be gaps of days in the vlogs. Uh, now I'm vlogging every day, but more often than not, it's only it, 
if I'm having a problem, the vlog will fall back to once a day. So rather than being a space between days, you know, instead of having days when there aren't any vlogs, they're now just, uh, uh, there aren't as many vlogs during the day. And so basically right now I'm up, uh, I'm working through my uh, uh, YouTube stroll. Right now I'm at One Crazy Life for me. Uh, that's uh, another vlog that I watch. Uh, I like these I like these longer vlogs uh, because if, if a vlog is long, like, like a half hour, 45 minutes even, uh, it allows me to keep working in between. Where I don't have to keep stopping my work and <clears throat> uh, looking for another vlog to watch while I'm doing it. So. Uh, it, the longer vlogs uh, give me the ability to um, work while I'm uh, watching the TV. While I'm watching TV, in other words, I can get uh, um, the TV is kind of in the background. Uh, I'm doing my work here, doing my study, doing my research, taking my notes, uh, and everything else is on the background. So, and I have the ability to sort of split my focus and get the work done. So, uh, and that's kind of what's happening here. This is a uh, I'm going to start bringing in more content into here. There's more stuff we, as we do the YouTube show. I'll talk, I'll talk about things that uh, I see going on, on on YouTube. I'll give my opinions on things. Uh, then from there, uh, I think we're also going to bring in some educational material because I'm going to connect this to uh, another, uh, another segment of the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network that's being developed over... Uh, the next two months over December and January, a new segment to the t to the channel to the network is going to be developed. It's called uh, AKD AKU TV. It's basically an educational channel. Uh, this channel is aimed at uh, people who want to do homeschooling to bring it into the standards of independent uh, research or independent study, so they can have access to more advanced uh, uh, studying techniques and more advanced academics, if they will, if you will, if you, if, you, if that's the way you want to view, view things. But right now. The the uh, standard homeschooling uh, environment is basically textbook. So it's whatever is in the textbook that's what's taught. But the thing is, as I said before, the textbook is not always exactly right. Uh, and there are things in the textbooks. There's the reality to uh, the real research that simply doesn't get included in textbooks. So it doesn't matter. Where, where the textbook comes from, the textbooks are always limited. If you want to take those limitations off, you need to learn research. You need to learn how to uh, develop and organize a library. And that's what's going to be happening in here. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to develop your research, how to uh, move forward. And you can use these sort of these background notes, the behind the scenes notes here. Uh, and that's what BTS says, behind the scenes. You're seeing behind the scenes of a research facility. This is how we get our materials out. This is how we uh, do our research. This is how we organize things. And that's not always perfect because it, you, you're not, this isn't the finished product. What you're seeing is you're seeing you know what it is behind the scenes. You're seeing the construction of what would have, what will be eventually be seen by the public as, as, as a final product. And the thing is, what the public sees as a final product is not all there is to it. There's actually more that's not published here because it's not, it's not designed for uh, general public's eyes. It's, there are two views to to research. There's stuff that 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 you can put out to the public that you know anyone can see, and there's stuff that doesn't get out. And the, the both these two things together makes up the view of the universe. Um, my my constructed view of the universe, and that's what my theory is: is the constructed is to construct a view, an understanding of how the universe works. So, um, and that's where we are. <laughs> So at, uh, this is at uh, close to 5.30 in the morning. It's 5.23 now, so. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Keep it short. I've got some more work to do to get back to my work. And I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, take it easy and goodbye. Be prepared to have what you know. Challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to uh, another uh, uh, segment of the BTS logs. Yeah, almost didn't make it to do. Almost didn't make it for today. 
Um, what seems to end up happening sometimes is uh, it depends on how the day goes and when when I end up going to bed. If we give an example, if I'm too tired at the end of the day to vlog, and that's around usually around if I'm going to bed around noon, then if I don't get up before midnight, then the next then then there's a day missing in the vlog. So that's kind of what, what, what almost happened here. But uh, I ended up going to bed around two o'clock in the afternoon. That's when I finished. And then uh, I got up just about uh, 9, 9.30. So uh, we have enough time to vlog, and uh, I'll give you the time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 24 minutes, in th and 24 minutes into the day of Thursday, December 18th, 2014. Yay. Yeah, we're into we're, we're the 18th day of Vlogmas. I keep forgetting to tell you what day of Vlogmas it is, because, uh, uh, and the thing is, is that, uh, uh, we'll be getting into December, uh, our, 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 our BTS vlogs are starting to catch up, we're starting to get things rolling along here, uh, so that's a good thing, but I am running out of hard drive space, so I ordered some new, uh, I ordered the next level of, uh, the storage system, uh, as I said before, I don't want to put all my storage on one hard drive, I want to spread it out throughout the network, and that way, uh, rather than having a single network attached storage, it's going to be a distributed network attached storage. And that way, uh, I'll be able to have a variety of different places to put things. And it's not, sit it's not sitting all on one drive. So, uh, that's the way I'm going to approach it. Uh... That being said, I'm gonna start working on uh, my network attached storage right now. The the, the working on th that's already begun, and I'm also gonna start working on either probably sometime next week. I'll probably start getting into uh, remote logins and trying to start clustering some of the systems together. So uh, I don't know how it's gonna go. It is experimental, so I'm gonna have to test bench it first, uh, and the test bench. The, the test bench should take about two to three months to do. Uh, once it, once that uh, the test bench is done, whatever is working on the test bench, test bench will come out onto the regular network, and that will be the upgrade to the network for uh, the first uh, quarter of uh, 2015. Uh, because things are moving along, I'm going to try now working on some more shows to bring in more shows again. I want to try to fix up uh, uh, Beauty and the Geek. And as I said, I also want to bring in uh, Acad uh, Academia University TV, that's AKU, AKA TV. I want to bring that uh, on into the Cyborg Alpha TV network so that we can have, um, everything is kind of educational here anyways, but the thing is, if, if for those of you who want to uh, learn more, if you want to say you want to go to university, uh, all you have to do is turn this channel on, uh, and you'll find uh, university level material stuff there. If, let's say, you, or we want to do continuing education, you'll be able to do continuation, continuing education here. In other words, you'll be able to to uh, improve yourself on this channel. So uh, that's kind of one, one of the goals. In addition to to eventually providing uh, sh uh, entertainment shows like uh, Beauty and the Geek. Uh, uh, I'm eventually going to be working on some cartoons. There's uh, working on toys DIY. These are kind of fun stuff. Um, so in addition to the entertainment stuff we're working on, uh, we we also have the uh, research, and then we have the educational as well. So uh, everything will sort of eventually fit together and uh, work as one uh, uh, network. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, I don't have anything more to say. Uh, so I will say, uh, see you in the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. A quick log for today to get it in. Oh, sorry. It is 21 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Friday... 
December 12th, no, December 19th, 2014. Yeah, needless to say, my mind is really off because I'm heavily fatigued again. Uh, I'm going to take some time off, just, well, a couple hours off to do some extra sleeping. Uh, that way, uh, when I come back, I'll be, you know, back uh, a couple hours from now, maybe around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'll come back and uh, resume my usual study schedule. But I do need a break for a bit, so I think a couple extra hours of sleep will do the trick. Anyways, uh, I just finished Bertelli and having something to drink. And now I'm off to Clintus TV. And then eventually to bed. <laughs> Alrighty, I will talk to you um, in the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. Alrighty, take it easy. Bye-bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.